jardinera. This place is gorgeous. Um, we took ATVs and we're following our tour guide and we're only with one other couple. It's a pretty small group. But we're out in the countryside in Peru um, on our way out to Mars uh, to see the salt mines. Let's check this out. It's a beautiful day. Where's my hot husband? channel second in the investigation in this place in the third terraces they found a cotton example cotton only grow in the coast of peru. the coast of peru the climate is humid um, in this place third uh, until four terraces the climate is humid other in the middle they found uh, traces of pollen from the coca leaf example wow. Coca leaf only grow in the jungle. Wow. The circle, the circle is like a tropical climate. Wow. And each one of those terraces has a different degrees of temperature or microclimate. Wow. And possibility the Incas uh, grow certain land from the jungle to these terraces to grow. Uh, questions. How do they bring the fertile land in the 15th century? Bro. Uh, <laughs> like both? both, maybe horses, donkeys, maybe ATVs. <laughs> <laughs> the llamas was the pack animal in the Incan time. With the llama. Other, you can see in each services you can see a uh, floating stairs to be able to go up and down. In Quechua language, cool, sarusas. The height of the surfaces are between 1 meter 70 1 meter 80 centimeters. The rectangular is like a storage seat or warehouse. In Moray, there are three similar places, but this is the biggest, this is the most beautiful, but remember, this behind. This is only the two called surfaces, but the function is the same. This is 1, 2, and 2. Oh, okay. Hey. This is awesome. Here at Mora? More. More. Yep. And it is empty. There's like nobody here. It's wonderful. Beautiful, and it's 
been here for thousands of years, so we suffered a little bit of cave-in or water damage on the one side. Very well preserved. The locals still do an amazing job of maintaining these areas and always been agricultural and now largely just spiritual. That's smart. Very smart. Hopefully we're not butchering that, um, but we kind of have this uh, thing where we aim to go to one restaurant and then we end up uh, going to a completely different restaurant because of some reason. Yesterday, the restaurant we wanted to go to was closed, so we went to another one on the same street. And tonight, um, I did my research on TripAdvisor and I looked for a specific restaurant and we found it, but their balcony seating was completely full. So we said, okay, well, we'll just find another one. And we just walked around the square and, you know, they always have folks standing right out on the street like, trying to bring you into the restaurant. And some guy did, and I said, is that your restaurant? He said, yeah. And I said, can I sit on the balcony? He said, yeah. I said, okay, let's go. <laughs> but it's turning out to be pretty, pretty it's sweet. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a grill, but for some reason I decided to get pasta. Turn this around. Say what? It's a grill, and they have a lot of good items, but I got pasta and pizza. Yeah, he was kind of having a hand cream for Italian, and I, and I said, did you see any Italian places around here? He said, no. <laughs> here we are. They got some Italian on the menu. But check out this view. Yum. Cannot be beat. I keep saying that, but this one really can't. <laughs> you just get the entire square from your seat. So I highly recommend. Service has been wonderful. Uh, 
but even if the food was only mediocre, I would probably still recommend it just based on the beautiful views and seating that you get to have. People watching and dog watching. I got this new idea. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures of the dogs. They're straight ups everywhere. But they're so cute. And they're usually, they're usually friendly. I'm going to take pictures of all of them and then uh, make a book. <laughs> See if people want to get that. Yeah.